you're uh, play, you're saving the world. Is it some uh, some sort of a secret dream you have? <laughs> It's not all of my movies. Um, I, I generally do one where it's uh, an action adventure and then one where it's a small independent movie. But you guys generally don't see those movies. So, um, but it's, uh, I, it's, it's a kind of, you could say it's my brand, you know? It's, I, I love making movies and finding new ways to make movies that are exciting and entertaining that people can buy into and go on a ride. And, and in a lot of ways, outside of the Marvel Universe, they're hard to make now, you know? And yeah. it's like, it's, uh, generally movies are all IP, it's based on some comic books. To try and create original stories like we used to um, is more challenging, but ultimately more rewarding. Um, you've already done great things in the industry. Is there some sort of a dream you haven't achieved yet? Um, I just keep plugging along. Maybe one day I'll direct it because I feel like I have to do that anyway. In every movie, I end up saying, "All right, okay, it's a director, do this, do this, do this." Um, but so perhaps one day to direct um, right, and then give my body a break. Maybe I'll make less action movies, <laughs> more romantic comedies. <laughs> um, there's a feeling you really love Israel. You've been here a few months ago, and uh, like, uh, tell me, what do you love most about Israel? I love the people, I, I love the countryside. Um, I really enjoy being in Tel Aviv, just hanging here. You know, I, I literally, I can just come and just hang here. It's just a great place to be good energy. Um, and then also a lot of great places to go and visit, like Jerusalem, and Galilee, and Nazareth, and Black. This time we were going to try and get to Petra. Oh, that's nice. Um, how was it shooting uh, Keepers in Scotland? Um, back home. <laughs> tell you, it, it really, I was reminded that I come from one of the most beautiful countries in the world, and it was on this fucking coastline, and I stayed in a castle with the most beautiful lands, um, just in a little house in the castle, it was this <laughs> tiny little house, it was like 700 square feet, but uh, the, the experience was, was immense, and it was so cinematic, the landscape, yeah, it's it beautiful. really helped. Are, are to make our movie. Yeah, I've been there and, and it's incredible. Like, oh, good. Um, why, why should the Israeli audience go watch uh, Hunter Killer? Um, because it is non stop, kind of exciting, claustrophobic, edge of your seat action. It really, it, feel, it, it happens on many different levels. It's, it's the classic submarine genre and then. Um, action taking place at different levels, like a, like a burning fuse from all of them towards this powder keg that's going to explode. And everybody I know who's seen it has had the best time watching it. So I'd say, if you want to have a great time, go see the movie. Thank you very much, and uh, do you mind if I